what we're going to be doing in this video is seeing how we can place a match line that is perpendicular to multiple alignments. The plans prep manual or PPM states that your match lines should be plus 50 to a station, but it also says that it must be perpendicular to the alignment. Now should be and must be are two different things. In this example, we're not going to be plus 50 to a station, but we are going to maintain the perpendicularity to the alignment. Now the tool I'm gonna be using is play smart line. I'm gonna select play smart line. I need to make sure my attributes are set correctly. So I'm gonna come up to the tab that says CT. I'm gonna to go to CT lines. I need to change this so that I'm looking at just the standard line codes. So I'm gonna to go to just line codes here, and then I'm gonna scroll down to number 15, which is our match lines, PP dash match lines. So I'm gonna select that, 15, click OK. Now I'm gonna increase the weight of my match line just so that you can see it more clearly as I draw it. Normally your match line should be a weight of one. I'm going to, for illustration purposes, make it a weight of five. I'm gonna start down here at the bottom. I'm gonna start my match line just outside the right of way. So I'm gonna do a data here. You can see the match line starts and you can see my AccuDraw compass appears. Now I need to rotate the AccuDraw compass so that it is perpendicular to the ramp alignment. So as I move my cursor over it, you can see it's an arc. Well, how do I go perpendicular to an arc? That's the first AccuDraw shortcut we're gonna learn. I'm gonna type in RQ. This allows me to freely rotate the AccuDraw compass. What I wanna do is rotate the compass so that it is perpendicular to the arc. I'm gonna change my snap to center snap by hitting the letter C, that's an AccuDraw shortcut. Now, as I move my cursor over the arc, what you're going to see is the AccuDraw compass rotates to intersect the center of the arc. And when I do a data on the arc, the compass is now perpendicular to the arc. Now I'm gonna move my cursor out. I'm gonna move it just to about here and I'm gonna do a data. So first match line perpendicular to the ramp alignment. Now I need to go perpendicular to the main alignment. My compass is not rotated that way. So I'm gonna use a different AccuDraw shortcut. The letters RE. RE allows me to rotate the compass to be parallel or perpendicular to an element that I select. So I'm gonna type in RE. I'm gonna move my cursor over the main alignment, which is a line. I'm gonna do a data, and now the compass is perpendicular or parallel to that main alignment. So I'm gonna move it on up. The next one is gonna be right up here. I'll zoom in a bit. I need to ensure that I am indexing on the AccuDraw compass, staying along the axis of the compass. So I'm gonna go right about here. I'm going to do a data, and now I need to rotate the compass again because I have another alignment. This is the other ramp alignment. And I'm gonna use the RQ in combination with a C. So I'm gonna RQ to rotate quick, C for center snap, move over the arc. I'm going to data. I'm now perpendicular. I can move it out past the right of way. Data, right click, zoom out a little bit, and there's my match line. Again, the match lines aren't plus 50 to a station, but they are perpendicular to all three of those alignments. Mm -hmm.